We're right outside of King 5 in a parking garage. We're shooting a story about car prowlers when we heard the sound of breaking glass right across the street in this parking lot. We saw somebody going from car to car, bashing in the windows, trying to steal people's belongings. The suspect broke into multiple cars while we called the police. After waiting several minutes, concerned the person would keep smashing windows, we shouted at them. We just called 911 and they ran to a getaway vehicle. It's an all too common crime which can lead burglars to homes. The King County Sheriff's Office says this suspect got into someone's car last week, took the garage door opener, and used it to enter the victim's garage. From there, the suspect gained access to the rest of the house in this Newcastle neighborhood before setting off a security alarm and fleeing. It's an easy way for burglars to, to break into your house by using your car door opener. Bellevue police are investigating similar crimes. They say in three recent cases, suspects broke into cars, grabbed the garage door openers, and used them to start burglarizing homes. Police are urging people to not leave these in their vehicles. They say it's also a smart idea to remove documents like your car's registration, which often has a home address and other personal information on there. Instead, you can take a picture of this and keep it on your phone. I think most officers will be more than understanding if you show your registration or, or your title, depending on the case, um, uh, with electronic copy on your phone. Bellevue police say there were nearly 1,300 car prowls last year, an increase from 2019. And the best way to avoid becoming a victim is to keep your car as empty as possible. No electronics, no wallets, no purses. Anything of valuable that you think a uh, criminal would want to take, please don't put it in your vehicle. Ted Land, King 5 News.